It's early evening. They found the debris and bodies nothing like this for decades. On Monday afternoon. In the United States, as expected. This corner of northeastern Malaysia hasn't seen flooding like this for decades. People had to leave their homes in a hurry after days of rain turned roads into rivers. At the airport in Surabaya, Indonesia, people anxiously wait for news of their loved ones. 162 passengers and crew were on board Air Asia flight QZ8501 to Singapore. The last of the passengers was airlifted from the crippled ferry on Monday afternoon, almost 36 hours after the fire first took hold. Italian and Greek helicopters worked a shuttle system, hovering above the burning ship. We know, we can confirm, that there are at least six that have been taken from the water, probably more. Those will all then be coming here to the airport. There's going to be a facility or a couple facilities, rooms, uh, where these bodies will be brought in for the identification process. Just eight votes, not enough for the Palestinians to claim majority support in the Security Council. The resolution would have set a 2017 deadline for an end to Israeli occupation. Australia and the United States, as expected, voted against. A night of revelry quickly turned chaotic. This is the scene of what started out as a New Year's celebration. Instead, the injured lie on the ground, run down in a stampede on Shanghai's waterfront district, known as the Bund. The stampede started just before midnight. Police say they're still investigating the cause. 